Hi from Calendry School and today I'm going to be reading Owl Powers, The Wild Hood Bakery. Alright, so it's a scholastic book and it's read, written by Rebecca Elliott. Alright, we're going to be reading chapter 7. We're almost finished. Alright. Cupcakes vs. Candy. Saturday, we flew to the owl... Old? Old, old owl... Oak. Oak tree super early. We decorated the decorated our shop and put our cupcakes and cookies. Oh, oh look at that. Customers. Customers were lined up outside our family. And and friends and neighbors were all there. Were. Were all there. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Finally it was time to open the shop. Oh my diary, running a bakery is hard work. We had to get the cupcakes and cookies for everyone. Look, there's everyone. We had to bag them up. Oh, and we had to charge the right amount of moon dollars. How much is a moon dollar? I took a quick peek at the Candy Crush corner. Sue's shop sold, seemed? seemed to have just as many owls in it as ours. ours. So I want... Was it? Wasn't sure who was winning. It was not about winning. At the end of the night, we were all... We were closer, closing? Closing up one disaster. Disaster? Oh no, what happened? We've run out of cupcakes and cookies. Oh, that is a disaster. We don't have anything to sell tomorrow. That means Sue's team will win. Not if we bake more cupcakes and cookies tonight. But we don't have any sugar left, and the grocery store is closed. Secret meeting now. We huddled together. Let's think, what, what will we do? What can we do? What can we do? We could ask Sue what Sue's team. Sue's team if we could borrow some sugar. They have lots of it for their candy recipes. Recipe. That would be very nice. We can't ask team for help. Yeah. Them for help. But it we don't we'll have to close our shops. And then Sue's team will win. Oh, Sue's team will win. But remember, it's not about winning or losing. It's about making the most money for the wing chair. Everyone was quiet. We were all thinking hard about this decision. If borrowing sugar helps us raise more money and win, then we should do it. We flew to Candy Crush Corner. It, uh, Sue's team was all in a flap, just like <coughs> we were. Candy Crush Corner. We've ran out of bags. Out of bags. What are we going to do? We can pick up. We can't. We can't pack. Pick, pack up our candies without bags. We'll never win now. What if we ask Eva and Lucy's team for bags? No way we can ask them for help. So they're in the same bind as Eva's team. Just then we heard Mia's voice behind us. I don't think I want a wing chair anymore. I thought those shops were supposed to be a fun way to help me. But the two teams aren't even friends anymore. And all you guys seem to want to do is win. Everyone felt bad. We had forgotten why we were doing this in the first place. We had also forgotten we were all friends, and friends help one another. We're sorry, Mia. We'll work together from now <coughs> on. Take a look at Mia. Sorry we tried so hard to win, Sue. Your shop really does look fantastic. Sorry we... Spied? Spied on your team, Ever Eva. Eva. Your cupcakes look super yummy. Mm. I have a idea. Your shop needs bags and our shop needs sugar. Let's join together to make one super 
Sugary. Sugary. Sweet. Sweet candy bake shop. That's a flat. Flappy. Flappy. Fabulous. Fabulous idea. Meh. Maggie. Macy. Macy. <laughs> Miss Featherbottom comes <coughs> to see how our shops had done in their first night. She counted up the moon dollars. Both shops did very well. So well that we have already raised enough money for Mia's wing chair. Wow. That's, um, that's all amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. <coughs> Mia and her dad flew off. We're so thankful to you all. Mia, let's go buy your new wing chair. We took Mrs. Featherbottoms. We told? We told Mrs. Featherbottoms our plan to put both shops together. She loved it. What will the money we raise tomorrow go towards? I have an idea. Until you'll, you'll be, be a surprise. A surprise. Yeah. All we we all flew to Sue's house to bake. We all had a flat flapperific. flapperific time. When I got home, Humphrey <coughs> burst into my room. How's the bakery, Eva? Save any treats for me? I did, actually. Here you go. Oh no, what is it? I forgot to take cupcakes to the rabbits who gave us the carrots. So, diary, I've set my alarm for super early tomorrow. I'm so tired. We're going on to chapter 8. The Wing Vault Champions. Sunday. I flew to the rabbit's carrots patch when it was still still light. Thank you so much for helping us here. Our cupcakes just for you. How wow, wow these are horrific. Hop, horrific. It's early because it's blue out. Yeah, what does it say right there? Really yummy. I've I've got a shop to run. <coughs> Bye. Bye, Eva. Thanks. The new wild candy cake shop was a big success tonight. We had so much fun working together. After we closed up our shop, we ate the leftover treats. Then Mia flew. Yes, flew in on her new wing chair. Uh, check. Check out my new total. Totally. Totally. Awesome. awesome wing chair. I cannot wait for my first day of school tomorrow. Well, well, happy we could help. Yes. I'm, I'm so <coughs> proud of... Sorry. I'm so proud of all of you. And surprise, the school is going to use the money you raised tonight to buy new wing ball nets, balls, and uniforms. I bought one new ball already, Mia. Catch! The ball flew through the air. Mia swooped up to catch it. She moved faster than any owl I've ever seen. Wow, Mia, it looks like the treetop owl elementary, elementary wing ball team has a new start player. We all cheered. This was such a great week, Diary. See you next time. All right, so Rebecca Elliott's. Rebecca <coughs> Elliott was a lot like Eva when she was younger. She loved making things and hanging it with her friend, best friends. Now that Rebecca is older, not much has changed, except that her best friends are her husband, Matthew, and their children. She still loves making things like stories, cakes, music, and paintings. But as much as she and Eva have in common, Rebecca cannot fly or turn her head all the way around, no matter how hard she tries. Rebecca is the author of Just Because and Mr. Super Poopy Pants. Owl Diaries is her first cha um, early chapter book series. All right, let's take a look at the questions. <coughs> All right, so the Owl Diaries. How much do you know about the Wildberry Bakery? All right, so you guys can answer it by going back to chapters one, two, three, four, five, six, and the end of this book. All right, so the first cha uh, question is, what is a wing chair? 
How is it similar to a wheelchair? Why does Mia need one? Do you know what a wing chair is? What's a wing chair? It's something that helps you fly. Yeah. So, I guess. so the wing chair, uh, Mia's, um, Mia's um, wings were too short. So she couldn't fly like everyone else. So she needed the wing chair, which is like a wheelchair. Your wings. How short are they? So a wheelchair, a wheelchair for people, is, which oh, helps with their legs and walking. Those are like their size. That's not, she can still fly, right? Uh, it, it's just, it was just part. It's just part of the book. All right. So look at page forty-three. <coughs> Why are the Wildwood Bakeries dressed like ninjas? All right. Go to page forty-three. Let's see why they're dressed up like ninjas. There they are. So the, when the Wildwood Bakeries met up, we all looked so cool. We really do look like ninjas. Ninja carrot hunters. Come on, let's find a rabbit to follow. That one really says it. So, we got ninja carrot hunters. Yeah, so what what, what are they going to try and find? Carrots. Yeah, and who has the carrots? The rabbits. Yeah, so they have to go find the rabbits. Well, technically nature. Well, You're yeah. not the rabbits. Yeah. The rabbits didn't say, hey, this is my I created it. <laughs> All right, go to the next page and let's see. Go to the next page. We flew around the forest looking for a rabbit. There's one. Quick, follow him. We followed the rabbit to a patch of wild carrots. So <coughs> the rabbits eat the carrots. So that's why they wanted to follow a rabbit. And they'd be ninjas because the rabbit might run away. Right? All right, so the next one is, <coughs> what is the disaster that happens at the end of the Wildwood bakery's first night. What uh, happened after the first night? Do you remember? We just read it. <laughs> they um, ran out of... Carrots. No, sugar. Nope. They ran out of sugar. <laughs> so, so they actually ran out of all the bakery stuff, right? Yeah. All the cookies and muffins and all that, and cupcakes or whatever. And so they needed more sugar. Mm -hmm. So they went to see Sue's team, and who, what did Sue run out of? Do you remember what Sue ran out of? Bags. She ran out of bags. Yes. So they worked as a team. So Mia uses a special wing chair to fly. Do you know anyone who uses something special to help them? Um, and then, how is the Wild Candy Cake Shop formed? <coughs> Use details to describe the thoughts, feelings, and actions of Eva and her classmates. All right, we won't answer that those ones, but <coughs> we're done with this Owl Diary book. Which one are we going to do next, Callie? Um, books. Yeah, what, what Owl Diary book are we going to read next? What chapter book are we going to read next? She's going to go get them. She's going to find out which one. Can I we're pick anyone? You can pick any one you want. Uh, uh, Whatever one you want. This one. Ouch. All right, come on. So our next Owl Diary adventure is going to be Eva's big sleepover. Because it like blends in like the green and then the green and then the blue. blue. And then the next one is red. <laughs> All right. So remember to subscribe to the Cali and Jordan squad. Hit that notification button so you don't miss it on any of our fun videos. Smash that thumbs up button. Mm -hmm. um, share with friends and friends. Mm -hmm. If you love the Owl Diaries and you want us to continue, give the video a big thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And until next time. Bye. Peace out.